Declan O'Callaghan will be also be in the race. There's Mike going. Uh, there you see going right there in the screen. Mike Morin is also in the race. John Swanson, Brant Armitrout, and Brian Kesselman round out the field. I going. Think, I think one of the favorites here, Larry, should be Declan O'Callaghan. He's run 406 on a conversion. He's run 350 for 1500 meters. There you saw Chris Wilson, who is a 409 miler as well. Excellent field. They're moving on the turn pretty well here. There's a sprint to get to the start. Going is pushing the early pace. Looks like a good solid pace, Frank, watching their leg turnover. I'm guessing somewhere right around 60 seconds for the first 400 meters or so. Going likes to press the pace. Last weekend he ran 59 seconds at 202 at the Golden West meet, and it looks like he's got control of the race again. I think a better strategy if his coach got on him after doing that would be to say, okay, go 59 seconds, but then back off, let somebody else come by and take the pace. 29 seconds by the first 200 meters of this race as they come down the stretch, which will conclude the first lap on this beautiful track here. The stands are full here by the finish line. I'm Larry Rawson along with Frank Shorter. Kevin Cusick, hoping you're enjoying the Keebler International Prep Track and Field Meet. Moving into the lead right now is Chris Wilson from Niceville, Florida. It's going in second place. In third place, Mike Moran from Sulphur, Louisiana. And Declan O'Callaghan from Ireland in fourth place has a great miling tradition to uphold, and he's running just like the Irish milers, right on the pole, biding his time, close enough to the front, letting someone else take the pace. The first 440 yards, 60. 0.6 seconds, and it continues to be Chris Wilson, a man who says he likes to devastate the field and loves to kick hard. We'll see if he can live up to those words, Frank. This is tough competition at the high school level to do that in. An indication that they're still on fast paces. Everyone's strung out. Look, no one's really running three abreast. When the pace is fast, you kind of try to get into the pole, try to save space, and let the leader go because he's going just fine. The young man who's headed to the University of Florida and John Webb's program continues to lead. Going pulls up beside him. On the inside, that is Chris Wilson. On the outside, Mike Going from Westbury, Long Island. Third place continues to be Mike Morin. Declan O'Callaghan is in fourth. 205 at the half mile, which means they've slowed down a little bit. It's gotten tactical. You can tell they're bunching up. Their leg turnover, as you say, Larry, is a little slower. It's a tactical race now, but going is starting to press again. Mike going, pressing, try to stretch things out. He has to do that, Frank. He lacks some of the sprint speed. And look at getting knocked over and down on the track. That was Chris Wilson getting back in the race. It's almost reminiscent of what happened to Jim Ryan in 72 at the games. It was on the edge of the turn, but he fell on the grass, and Ryan fell on the edge of the track. 409 mile are back and probably out of the race as he is now about 40 yards behind everybody else. Here's going, Rick Miller coming up to take the lead. This is a surprise. His best coming in is 414. But right now he's in the lead with one last to go, but anyone can win this race. The race right now is really underway. Here it goes. Rick Miller, as you said, pressing the pace from Sean Borg. O'Callaghan's way back. It looks like he's out of it. Dwayne, Dwayne Miner from Missouri in third place. He looks very good right now. But Mike going, very surprising. Look at him go. Three minutes, 12 seconds through three quarters of a mile. Miller trying to hold on to the lead. Mike going, going by. Last year's winner of this race was also from Sean Borg, as Miller in second place was. It's going, and he is certainly going to use his last name. Mike Going has pulled away in this race, really pulling out. Just a question, can he hold on? But it looks like even though he had to take the pace in the middle, he has the strength to hold on and win this race. Mike Going pulling away to an astounding victory here. Excellent performance here. It is Miller in second. In third place, Dwayne Miner from Missouri trying to catch on, going the winner. Miller gets second. Third place goes to Miner. Fourth place goes to number 257, John Swanson, followed across the line by Ethan Evans from Jamaica. The time unofficially, four minutes, 11 and...